What up, my be lovely? Hey, Miss Beach Little Diva. What up, my be lovely? What's up, my beloved ladies? You guys, today I am going to be cooking some spaghetti squash. Yes, your girl gonna cook some. Uh, your girl is going to cook some spaghetti squash. My voice is not all the way back yet, but it's coming, y'all. It's coming back. So what I have here is uh four uh two spaghetti squash that i couldn't have and i got this idea from uh grandma karma one so shout out to grandma karma one i saw her do it um not um recently on her channel which gave me the idea to do it as well usually i make uh zucchini spaghetti but i decided to do the spaghetti squash is to me it's like almost similar but this is what i'm gonna do it's just my little version of it so what I do is cut them in half. You can buy two of them at the store. I wash them all first. I cut them in half. I already did these three uh, three already. Cut them in half and then I scoop all the inside out. I take a, a what is it? An ice cream scooper. Scoop everything out. So this is what I do y'all. So y'all, I'm going to let y'all know, like I used to tell, say all this time, I don't know if a lot of y'all don't know that I started my channel off cooking. And I started my channel off cooking. And I don't, my thing is, I cook with what I want to cook with. It ain't no rules to what I cook. I'm not a chef. So I don't want y'all be thinking like, man, she said do this, do that. I do things by what I want, by my liking. And I'm liking what my kids and my children and my family likes. So you know what, y'all, I got a plate over here. Y'all might can't see that, but I'm going to put all this stuff in that plate right here. Some people like to keep their insides in there, but I don't. So it is what it is. This is a very healthy meal, y'all. Very, very healthy. Uh, a lot of people sometimes keep the insides in some people, sometimes people keep the inside out but this is a very healthy meal you can add what you want you can do a meatless you don't have to add the meat but i'll add italian sausage and all that stuff to, to it so what i'm gonna do is it takes a while for this to cook in the oven so i want to get this in the oven then i'm gonna tell you all the ingredients that i'm gonna you gonna need so this is olive oil y'all i take the olive oil and i drizzle it in the middle of all of it because i'm gonna rub it down Smack it up and rub it down, y'all. So, and what I do is I have my seasonings. This is my seasoning rub. Y'all, I got this pot on right here. I should just put some oil in it. I'm putting some oil in it. So that's some olive oil. That's going to be where I saute my mushrooms, bell peppers, and onions and stuff like that, y'all. So, this is my rub right here. And what this consists, what I'm gonna do is put it all inside of this spaghetti squash because I'm gonna bathe it, give it a bath. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna get a bath today, so I'm gonna bathe this thing. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna try to turn this down. So I turned that down on low. So. What I'm going to do, y'all, I'm going to roll my sleeves up. See, I'm going to take these rings off because I don't like cooking with my rings. And y'all, I have washed my hands. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the, uh, the oil and all of the seasoning and I'm going to give this thing a bath all around here. So, it can be well seasoned all around. And then once you once you give it a bath and that olive oil and that season that you have, you can rest it down, face down. Because we're going to let this cook face down in the oven on 375 to 45 minutes. Anywhere from 45 minutes to an hour. You can just go check. And you know when it's done, you just uh, pick, stick a, a knife or a fork at the at the uh, in this and you could be able to know when it's done so y'all yeah y'all this is gonna be some good eats right here 
So then I'm rubbing it. Y'all see this? I'm rubbing it, rubbing it. And y'all don't have to wash this part, y'all, because I'm going to mukbang this afterwards. I think I'm going to make this one video. I'm not going to make it a cooking video. Then we're going to make it a this video. No, we're going to mukbang it. We're going to mukbang it, y'all. And I'm going to try not to make it too long for y'all. And y'all, some people uh, individually wrap their stuff in up face down in the foil. But I don't, don't think I need to. I'm just going to do it this way. Okay, y'all, I didn't bathe this thing now. So, I got my oven already preheated. What I'm going to do, too, is uh, rub it down with some oil right here, too. To each his own, y'all. Whatever y'all want to do, y'all ain't got to do that. But that's just me. I think it helps the cooking process better. That's what I'm thinking. I don't know, y'all, but I'm just thinking that. Don't quote me. I ain't no chef, like I said. I'm just saying. Wouldn't the oil make it probably make it uh, cook faster? To get it heated faster? I would think so. Okay, y'all. What is that? Oh, that's a piece of mm, seasoning. Okay, y'all. So, what I did is make my oil, my aluminum foil very, very long. So... I could just do this to it. And so this is all done. All tucked in. And right. It don't have to be hard. But. This works y'all. It works. So y'all. I'm going to put this in the, uh, the uh, oven for 45 minutes to an hour on 375, and I'll be back. Hey, y'all, I am back. So, let me tell y'all what we're going to need for this. So, I'm making like a spaghetti um, topping with some cheese, and so I got some. Okay, this is what I got. Y'all, I'll be going so fast. So, y'all got y'all got to follow me. Y'all know I talk fast. So, this is the diced tomatoes. I use the diced tomatoes, which is right here. Diced tomatoes. This is the brand I use. You don't have you can use any brand you want. I use the Hunt's uh, tomato paste. Hunt's tomato paste, y'all. I have, uh, oh, I just did that. Yep, I just did that. My whole bracelet. This is why you don't cook with jewelry. Anyways, yeah, I'm going to take that off. Anyway, so, y'all, sorry about that. Sorry about that. Let's see. Okay, so now this is the, uh, I got bell peppers and, uh, bell peppers, like multi-grain bell pepper. I got the yellow bell pepper, the orange one, the red one, the onions, and some, um, some mushrooms. Yeah, mushrooms in that. So, that's about it. And I'm going to pour this in here. You see that sizzling, y'all. Y'all don't have to add all this, but that's what I add. I figure that people that's with, uh, that doesn't like, uh, meat shouldn't, uh, could add that mushroom. The mushrooms would be good for them. And y'all, this is the dice I use. This is a dicer that I use to get my bell peppers and onions a, a, a nice square shape. It's kind of dirty now because I just used it. But y'all get my drip. This is like 20 bucks at uh, Bad, Bed Bath & Beyond. Or you can find it at Walmart for 20 bucks for $19.99. Somebody called me. My mama called me, but I'll call her back later. Okay, y'all. So, the type of meat I'm using, I'm using some... Italian sausage and some ground beef. I use the uh, lean ground beef, the one that does a 93% lean, 7% fat, so it won't um, shrink. So I'm gonna cook this with it. Right now, I'm gonna saute this. I put some olive oil in here already, and I'm gonna put add some butter because me, I like to cook with butter. To each his own, that's what I do. I, I mix some olive oil with the butter. So I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter to this. And y'all, most of the time I do things by eye. 
so this all of this is gonna be my meat sauce i'm gonna add the meat later i'm gonna put the meat in another pot and cook it but and then i saute my stuff in a separate pot so this is the seasonings that i use for the uh the dry rub season like i said y'all have uh uh accent salt cayenne pepper cajun seasoning red flakes uh garlic powder onion powder and that's it oh and uh lori seasoning salt lori's i like to uh saute my my um saute i mean season my bell pepper my stuff here is my spatula and my spoon so y'all know i know y'all can't see in there but I'm going to turn this up a little bit more on kind of high. And so, y'all, I got um, some ketchup here, too, because I add a little ketchup to it. Y'all, I'm probably all over the place, but y'all going to get it. Y'all get it. Y'all will get it. So, I got some sugar here, y'all. Some um, sugar brown sugar and some white sugar but I don't think I'm gonna use all of that well I lied I am gonna use all of it cuz I'm gonna use all that meat. I'm gonna use all of it y'all so I don't know how much that was but okay y'all I'm gonna do use some Worcestershire Worcestershire I don't know y'all <laughs> I don't know how to say that name but I'm gonna use this too I I do it by eye um, and then I'm gonna add these things right here which is the tomatoes and then I'm gonna add the meat to it later after this finish. Cause I don't like I don't like cooking my meat. I don't know why what it is, but I don't like cooking my meat when I'm sauteing my veggies. I like to saute my veggies and stuff out, and then I add the meat to my spaghetti salt seasons. I've always been like that. So Y'all, I'm cleaning up as I go. Because I don't like stuff everywhere. I'm trying to get things ready for y'all. So, I'm done with this. I always taste my stuff too after I'm done. Because I don't know. This tomato paste is something that makes everything kind of thicker. Okay, y'all, so I got some cheese here, and what I did is I sliced the cheese. What I did, I shared the uh, cheese with a shredder. I like to use uh, real cheese, um, sharp cheddar cheese, and, uh, yeah, that's what I like to use. This also, y'all, forgot to have my um, tomato sauce, my spaghetti sauce. So, this is the spaghetti sauce I use. You can use any brand you want. I just got Prego sauce. Really, to me, it doesn't matter what sauce you use. To me, because you're going to season the way you want to season it anyway, to your liking. So, it is what it is. Maybe some people think differently. I just don't. I just think it's, you can use whatever you want. Shoot. Okay, so. Y'all, back in the day, I would have just been like, put some water in there. Y'all know how it go. <laughs> Shaking it all up. Put some water up in that thing. To stretch it. But I think I got enough stuff in here. That I don't need to stretch it like that. So, I'm putting all this stuff in. I'm going to let this simmer. So, that's why I'm putting all this stuff in right now. I'm going to let it simmer while all this stuff, this stuff is going on. So, we're going to let that simmer. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back like a smack attack. Okay, y'all. I'm adding this... Uh, 
Italian sausage. This is optional. Y'all don't have to do that. I like Italian sausage in my stuff. So, this is my meat. This is my ground beef. So, I add the ground beef and the other stuff. Okay, y'all. I am back. I have to go wash my hands. So, I see this is simmering a little bit. I'm going to stir this up. And then, y'all, I forgot to add my ginger. I'm going to add some ginger to this. This is getting really hot. This is what I want. It's thick enough like I want it. So, y'all, y'all, it's going to be a lot of uh, meat and stuff in here. However, that's fine because I usually freeze my stuff because I can always make zucchini noodles. That's what I usually make out of it. I'm going to add some of this ginger to it. Just a squirt. I think that was probably two tablespoons, y'all. Maybe. But this is the thickness of it, y'all. Can y'all see that? Oh, y'all probably can. But once you add the meat to it, it'd be better too. So it's getting hot. By this time this stuff get done, the other stuff will be here. Y'all not going to see all this part anyway because I'm going to cut it. Good it, good it, good it. So what I do is try to chop the meat up. Y'all know how it goes. I'm sure y'all know how to make hamburger meat. And then I'm going to add some seasonings. The remainder of the seasonings right here. Good time, y'all. I'm about to get up. And my husband is in the tub. So he in the tub. And I'm trying to wait for him to get out because I need his assistance. But if I don't, I'm just gonna have to do work with what I got, y'all. That's how it be. Work with what you know. I like my meats kind of chopped up y'all shoot and it's like Italian beef meat don't chop up like that real easy to me so now y'all I'm going to add the season to it I'm going to do it right now enough also y'all I add oil I don't know why I do this as far as I like olive oil this ain't gonna produce a lot of oil anyway because I got that 97% fat free uh, stuff so it's gonna be a dry kind of a meat
Okay, y'all, I'm back. So I just took this out the oven. Y'all see all that heat? Ooh. So, y'all, this, this is going to be juices. So what I do is, ooh. Be careful not to put little holes in it. Y'all, just turn it around, but it should look like that. Try not to turn it. Yeah, it'll, it'll look like this. Y'all, I hope y'all see that. Ooh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, fill this with some meat. So what you do is you take a fork and y'all y'all just do this and it'll let go a lot of, I hope y'all can see that, like spaghetti strings. Y'all. Y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see the consistency of that. It's like, it almost like, ooh, y'all, I am made a mistake. So what you do is do that. Y'all, yeah, that's how you do it. I hope y'all can see that. So just take a fork and you will see it shredding. Like spaghetti squash. y'all so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish doing this and I am going to put this back in the oven for like five minutes literally like y'all five minutes to melt the cheese on top so as y'all see this this is what I have and the more you shred the more comes off the sides so so what I do is I take some of this meat this right here I got a scooper right here and I'm gonna take some meat and you scoop it in here like that I like a lot of stuff in mine you don't have to put that much in it but I think two scoops is good two scoops y'all two scoops Unless you want more. And as you go, you can mix it as you go, y'all. So you can mix the uh the spaghetti the, the the spaghetti squash with the meat. This is gonna be some straight good popping, some stuff that's so good, yummy to my tummy, tripe of stuff. Y'all good, y'all following me? My mouth is watering while I'm saying this. Are you I'm sorry. I, I, I got confused because I, I saw the thing change. I'm, I'm just being real. Y'all, I looked and I saw my flipper ch change and my husband behind the camera. And he like, keep going. I'm like, when you see you ain't looking, the thing ain't on you. So, ooh, I'm making a mess, y'all. I guess we'll cut that out, won't we? Okay. Do you want more stuff in that? I'm going to do a little bit more. Okay, y'all. Now. Now what I'm about to do is. I'm not even cover this with no things anymore. Make sure I'm doing this right. I got some cheese here. And what you want to do is. Put cheese all over this. Y'all, this is going to be some good stuff. When I say some good, good, I'm talking about some good, good. Good, 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 good. That goody good. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to muck that bang this on my channel so y'all can see the ingredients of what you need. And then we're going to muck bang this. And we're going to let it be. Okay, y'all. So, you guys, if you guys want to know how to, well, you see how I make, how I make it. But you guys want to see us mukbang this on the channel, 
you guys go there and I will have this video out tomorrow. Don't, you know what? Actually, no, y'all. Let me show y'all to finish right up when I finish. It come out the oven. I'm sorry. See, I'm going too fast. I'm hungry, y'all. I'm hungry. Oh, that was... Okay, y'all. Use all this cheese. So. Okay, y'all. I'm going to put this in the oven, and I'll be back. Okay, you guys. Here is the finished product. Y'all see how this looks? So, this is a very healthy, I hope y'all see that, healthy meal, you guys. There's something that you can enjoy. And, like, for those of you that do not, do not eat meat, you can substitute the uh, meat for mushrooms, uh, tofu, or whatever else you think you want to uh, substitute it with. But, I know it's going to be the bomb. So, if you guys want to see us eat this food, look at my, um, it will be out tomorrow. Yeah, it will be out tomorrow. Actually, I'm going to, um, yeah, it'll be, how can I say this? Because you know what, y'all, this is two videos. Close out the one, and don't talk about when it's going to be out. And anyway, we're going to mukbang this on my channel. Look for it on the channel, and you guys will see that soon. Okay, you guys, I love you so, so, so much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with anyone and everyone. Let them know what your girl is doing on this channel, you guys. I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. I love you guys so, so, so much. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. Peace.